Hey everyone, Sweet Johnny Cage here, back with another guide for Sekiro Shadows Die Twice. This time I'm going to show you how to get the Dried Serpent Viscera early. Normally you would need an item that you get later in the game and bring it to this cave and sort of solve the puzzle with it. However, there are a couple methods uh, by which you can do this way before you get that item and you can get the Dried Serpent Viscera early. So what I'm showing you here is the quickest way into this cave from the Riven Cave Sculptor's Idol. Hop up on these ledges and then once you grapple up to this ledge, just jump off and aim for the branch below. And then as you get close, keep mashing L2 or left trigger or whatever it is on PC and you will grapple onto one of two points. Um, if you miss, it's okay. You'll just get, you know, teleported back up to the top and you can try again. Uh, and then just once you land, turn left and then uh, head to the cave. There is a memorial mob vendor there in case you need stuff, uh, but I'm just going to show you how to quickly run through this cave. I'm not going to pick up any of the treasures, just showing you, uh, you know, what is probably the fastest route through here. So you want to leap over this ledge. Be careful, there are uh, sort of like ghost enemies, similar to the ones from Dark Souls 2, that kind of pop out of the walls and try to stab you. Uh, these guys have spears instead of swords, like the guys in Dark Souls 2 uh, in the crypt. Uh, but yeah, just keep going. And then eventually you will come to the snake or the great serpent. Now, what's interesting is I don't really know the real solution to this. I haven't gotten the item yet. I just had a friend tell me, oh, I got an item. And, uh, or I had a friend tell me that you need an item to do this, but we both did this early in different ways. So I'm gonna show you both methods. Um, so that's the serpent, obviously. Um, he is guarding a house in this cave and inside that house is the dried serpent viscera. So. Uh, what you want to do is you want to jump down here, and then there's a monkey uh, just chilling out there. I don't really know what his purpose is. And you have two options. You can either take the Mist Raven prosthetic, like I have here, and then grapple onto the point by the serpent, and then immediately use the Mist Raven, and then you will dodge, and you'll be able to run into the house. Now, what's weird is that you're, suck you're stuck here, and... I don't know if the item that you get later <laughs> lets you get out of here or if you could teleport out of here or something, I don't really know. Um, but what you can do is you can, uh, attacking him does nothing, it just makes him slam against the door. I tried it a bunch of times, he never breaks through or anything. Uh, but what you can do is you can take a fistful of ash and then you can throw it right in front of him. And doing this will cause him to glitch. Now, I don't know if this will be patched later on. I mean, we're on patch 1.02 already. I'm not really sure if they're going to change this. I hope they don't, but he glitches and leaves. It just sort of resets him. Now, you will take a pretty nasty hit. Um, however, uh, you can uh, survive the hit and then just jump down and use an urn. Now, I'll show you the other way you can do this. Uh, if you don't have the Mr. Raven or if you don't want to use it, you can grapple onto that point, immediately turn around and grapple again. So I'm going to fail it here. That's okay. I'll heal up, and this is the way I did it. My friend Joe did it with Mist Raven. This is the way I did it. You can grapple onto this point, jump and turn around, and then grapple again. And then you can run into the house before the snake knows. That's it. And the Dried Serpent Viscera is on this Buddha statue here. So all you need is a fistful of ash. You probably have a ton of this. I never use it throughout the game. Um, but yeah, that, that's how you get out. I don't know what the real item is. I'm sure it's obvious in the story when you get it, but uh, this is an early way to get it. All right, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment. Um, if you need any help, please feel free to leave a comment, like I said. If you're looking for more Sekiro Shadows Die Twice guides, please subscribe to the channel so you get alerted when new ones go live. And that's about it. All right, I'm Sweet Johnny Cage. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.